Hi guys and welcome to a special team of the year midfield squad builder now this is a second one special we've done uh, the first one was with the defenders uh, this one is with the midfielders and I can tell you what it's a lot more fucking expensive because we've actually had to pay for these so every single player you see in this team has been paid for by myself uh, Iniesta 1.2 million now I don't know whether this is going to be an investment uh, I'm going to take Captain Tom's word for it and hopefully sell him on in a couple of days for a bit more money but I don't know about that I'm still unsure a lot of money has gone from my club uh, we got Xavi sat in the left centre mid um, probably might swap him with Alonso I'm not sure yet but he cost me 747 bin uh, Alonso I got for 446 bid yeah I'm going to swap them two over and put them like that uh, and that's how the team looks very nice some of you won't like the fact that we've put two at DM and one cam but me being a 352 knob that is how the team has sat so this squad builder is going to be a Spanish uh, the last one was BBVA this one is going to be Spanish and hopefully the next one we will be able to hybrid it up when we get all the strikers fingers crossed we're able to do that um, and fingers crossed further down the line we might have an all blue team Whoever gets that is going to be fucking rolling in it and it will be look sexy as well because these blue cards look fantastic. So let's crack on with the team and show you how it's gone. So we'll work from the defence up, I will, uh, and show you some players. So it's going to be Spanish, it's going to be 3 5 2, uh, and let's set that off. Now, a few of you will be a bit unsure as to why we put some of the players in. But I've mainly done it uh, down to look really and see how it played together. A bit mixture of uh, golds, blues, silvers, silver rares, non rares. Uh, as I played with them a few down the club, uh, a few down the uh, a few times we played the game now. So let's crack on with the goalkeeper and we're going to put Adan in there. Uh, Real Madrid's number one keeper, I do believe. Uh, Casillas got dropped for him, um, but unfortunately Adan got sent off in Real Madrid's previous game before the last I think he got sent off and Casillas returned to the sh uh, to the centre spot so Adan he's quite a cheap keeper especially this market it's quite volatile at the moment so you'll be able to pick him up for quite cheap he's a decent silver goalkeeper high rated and probably one of the I rate him as one of the best in the BBVA uh, with his stats I'm sure he's BBVA isn't he, he is yeah because you get mixed up with Real Madrid and Barcelona having the B teams in Liga Atalanta so let's move up into the defence and this guy is Ramos. Now we could have got a team of the year version but we did have one which we purchased uh, a couple of days ago but we did get rid uh, so we've just got the normal version because he's just as good. Um, Nepo did a decent review of the difference between his team of the year and his normal card and his normal card is good but his uh, team of the year one is exceptional. The stat difference is re uh, really nuts. Uh, he's tackling and stuff. So let's move on to the left and the right. So let's start off with the right centre back, and it's going to be a non rare silver. And it is going to be Katala, 74 pace defender, um, 6 foot as well. So he's quite a nippy little player for 6 foot. We played a shed load of games in 20, uh, 28 games, uh, 2 yellow cards. I mean, it means nothing, but he is a beast of a silver. Um, silver. I think he's in Liga Atalanta as well. He is, yeah, he's with Mercia in uh, Atlanta. Uh, and the left centre back is Alvaro Gonzalez. Now, this guy has 72 pace, 78 heading, 73 defending, and he costs about 2k. So, they're one or 2k defenders there. Non rare, but they are honestly superb and they're definitely worth trying out. So, let's move up into the right, left mid and the right mid uh, to start the midfield off. Well, finish the midfield basically because we've got three blue players there. So, the right midfield is going to be Joaquin. Uh, it is an informed card as well. Four star skills, three star weak foot. Got him for 10.75. That is ridiculous. This guy may not be good, but his, he actually plays well. Um, we've had a few games of him tonight, and he seems to be uh, doing the business. I don't know if it's because I'm overusing him, I don't know. So that is a first inform in the team. Second inform in the team is going to be Josie Enrique, the Liverpool left back turned left mid. Uh, we had a quick play of him. His shot power is 95 what the fuck so we paid 32k for him uh, 95 
uh, shot power, 85 pace and 81 defending. So he's not a bad left mid to have there. Three star skills as well, so he can do a roulette as I am a skiller. Uh, moving up into the strikers, the first one is going to be Fernando Torres. Now Spain do have a lacklust of decent strikers. Torres can't really carry her really. Um, so you've got to go for a lower grade player. You can go with an Agredo. Um, there's another one as well. Lorente. But we've chosen a person who's originally centre forward. So this guy will cost you about 5 6k now to purchase. And it is Rosé Callahan. So it's well worth um, giving him on the lookout. So that is the team complete. I hope you guys do enjoy it. It's a nice Spanish mix um, with silvers, blues, blacks. No racist there, but uh, black cards and um, some rare golds as well. So I'm now going to show you some highlights of the game against JMI HD. So make sure you go and show some love from this channel to his, as it is a nice compilation channel. The FIFA skills that guy does is unreal and easily one of my favourite skillers in the community as well. So make sure you drop him a subscribe and uh, give a watch of some of his videos. So I'll be back in a sec. So here we are, this is the team which he has put up against us. Obviously it's got a store player in there, a few skillers. It's quite a nice little uh, hybrid. Ellickson as well, he causes a lot of trouble in the game as you will see. So to start the game off, we do do a nice bit of trickery with our man Torres, getting a trip and then uh, Torres obviously slotting the ball away, giving us a 1-0 lead. So obviously with me being a FIFA skiller, Jamar being a FIFA skiller, this game is going to be fun. So, Jim, now I was amazed at how he is able to hit shots like this. It's like, what the fuck? Like, perfect long shot every time. Uh, and he does equalise it there with El uh, Elkerson. Elkerson. Sorry about mispronunciation. I know it's going to get hit up in the comment section below, but hey ho. Uh, and then, boom. For a second time, he goes for another shot with Elkerson. And that goes in as well. So that is 2-1. JMR has took the lead. Uh, and unfortunately, that isn't how it stays. Me being a skiller does pull the ball up uh, with a nice little bit of play. Wing to wing and opening up a nice gap for Joaquin to run into. Who's going to do the all master of all tricks. A roulette, a sidestep and then slotted away into the far corner. Equalising and basically making a mockery of the FIFA squiller. Squiller? Skiller. No sweat in my games, bitch. Uh, so here we are scoring uh, another a long shot with uh, Jose Callahan. Don't even know if I'm saying it right, but, you know, YOLO. Uh, so that's one goal with Jose Callahan. Here is number two with Jose Callahan. And I think it's also another bit of a long shot as well. Yeah, just outside the area. Boom. So everyone reckons that he is not very good at finishing, but his shots outside the box are epics are centre forward and striker are perfect positions for him. Uh, so it basically in the last couple of minutes he basically does give up and Jose Callahan scores a hat trick. Game done. Uh, but then Enrique threw on goal by himself. Sweat goal with Fernando Torres. Jobs are good and 6 2 we won the game. Uh, and that's how it stood. So thanks very much for watching guys. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you have. Comment in the section below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And remember to follow me on Twitter which is at Bateson87. Also remember to check out JMR's channel because that would be a huge help as he is a close friend in the community to me. And thanks very much and good night.